Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoie of Midwestern Hoof Trimmer, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the balance method versus the Dutch method. I've really been holding back on making a video like this because I don't want it to come off that I'm dissing the Dutch method or the way that anybody else trims, because I'm not. But I get a lot of questions asking me to explain the difference, and I really love your guys' questions, and I like answering them in my videos because I like being able to show the people that aren't involved in agriculture what's really happening. I also wanted to bring up my YouTube channel members only page and that is for people who join the membership and help support the channel. So if you notice down where it says Midwestern Hoof Trimmer, there's a little button that says join. You can click there and join to get more videos, a little more behind the scenes videos, a little bit of our personal life, and especially more lives. So if you wanna help support the channel, check that out also. Now I'm gonna show you a few trims using the balance method, and I'm also going to narrate over some pictures and show you some of my slides. This balance method is something that I came up with in my own studies, dissecting cadaver feet. And it's about the bone structure being balanced. And this method has really taken off worldwide. I have taught it all over the globe. I've been in Russia, England, Ireland, Germany, Denmark, Dominican Republic, Egypt. I have quite a few videos showing those trips. Also, just like this one, um, I go around and teach it all around the country to beginners but pros as well and really that's been a lot of what i've done the last couple years is pro workshops teaching the balance method to already professional hoof trimmers so i'm going to start you guys off with one full balance method trim and then we'll get into the details of how and why i did it that way <laughs> Show you guys quick. Clean off our camera here. I'll take that lateral heel off, straighten her leg so much, brings it underneath her, and allows her to start wearing more evenly. As opposed to her left foot, it has to be pushed out to the side because the height on her lateral heel. Now we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's compare that again. Now her left foot is directly below her body as well and her leg bones have straightened out tremendously. The goal of the balance method is to trim each claw in a fashion leaving the sole of each pedal bone resting parallel to the ground surface from side to side and front to back. The way we measure this is by reading the axial wall, which is indicated here by the light blue line. Now here are a couple examples of cadaver hooves being trimmed the balance method before and after, showing how when the sole of the hoof is trimmed perpendicular to the axial wall, it levels the pedal bone. As opposed to trimming flat across from left to right, leveling the heels, it doesn't always yield a horizontal pedal bone or even sole thickness. But if you look at the sole of the pedal bone, you can easily see that had the sole of the hoof been trimmed perpendicular to the axial wall, it would have balanced the pedal bone as well as yielded an even sole thickness from left to right. So here we're going to watch another live trim and this cow almost had a problem because she was getting out of balance and that was causing her to put too much pressure right here on the abaxial or outer side of her medial claw which caused it to start cracking and had we not got to her when we did she would have eventually wound up with a white line lesion.
All right, just gonna show you guys how she stands. I had to take that a lot off of her medial heel, which we wouldn't normally do if she didn't have a problem or a reason. Not really a problem, she had a crack, which was a reason. Now here the left foot's done and the right foot is not, and we're gonna freeze it for a second. Now the cannon bone on her finished leg is straight up and down, but the cannon bone on her not trimmed leg is not perfectly perpendicular to the ground surface because of the height of her lateral heel, which we're going to pick up and give a balanced trim and see how it looks after we put it down. So again, what we've done was we've taken this heel that was actually leaning this way, pushing her weight over to this part of her medial claw on the heel. That's why she had that breakdown and that crack. Now by bringing this heel over, balancing the pedal bone, we've allowed her to put her foot back underneath her properly and distribute her weight evenly, lining up her bone structure. She'll start wearing better. This is the view from the top. Take another peek from the back. And there you go, all balanced, both cannon bones, straight up and down, equal weight distribution, and proper bone alignment. So again, I'm not knocking any other method or style of trimming, but I get asked a lot what's different about the balance method, so I wanted to put this together to show you guys why I do it, how I do it. Well, I hope you guys liked this video as much as these girls like licking my sweatshirt. Till next time, catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.